Hello and welcome to this video. I only started Dreamcast programming in late 2018 and I have worked my way from the simple to the more game-like iteration that was shown in part 2. This game works on a real Dreamcast and I have also tested on the Dreamcast emulator demo. After almost a year break, I return with a new version that has the main addition of 2D scrolling. I actually programmed the scrolling a year ago, but the game got put on hold. I would just like to mention that I have also been working on a 3D version of my game built using Dreams for PS4. Please see the video description for more information about the Dreams version, as well as a link to my site in which you can learn more about my Dreamcast game. Player's health is represented by displaying one of three icons in the hut, and the number of jewels collected also has its own icon. All tiles have a maximum size within their texture, but when lava is rendered, it's stretched vertically to overlap any tile above it to make it look more 3D. I try to give all tiles a 3D like look, although the player currently is still plain looking. There are a number of new tiles, some of which appear in front of the player, others appear behind her. The player character floats whenever she falls by using her dress. By pressing D-pad down, the shape of her dress changes, so she falls faster. The Nava bubble gives the player a boost into the air if you can time hitting it right, so using D-pad down helps. The Lava bubble has special rendering to animate it. Instead of the plain background in the previous version, there is now a simple non-scrolling sky background. As before, you can enter the editor at any time and change the level using the Dreamcast keyboard and mouse. Tiles are grouped based on their type and you can easily move between the groups. The play is independent of the tiles and can be placed wherever you want. Any changes you make can be saved to a VMU. The level can be created and the game plays immediately with your changes in effect. More tiles will be animated and the player will have a greater range of animations and actions. Multiple levels will be supported and levels will be much larger. The editor will feature an easier way to select from the available tiles in the various groups. It will be possible to place tiles on different layers, which independently scroll. Sound effects and music will be added, with the music selectable for each level. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your comments and suggestions, and if possible, please like and subscribe to help my channel. Please look out for future videos, including more Dreamcast themed videos. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.